Welcome back, everybody. The Cardano drama seems never ending. We have yet another announcement about the Vasil hard fork, and we have key institutional players coming into the game for Cardano, and we also have some key charts to look out because Cardano has hit somewhat of a key level and could be looking at a turnaround here soon. So we're gonna dive through all of that today and get you guys updated. So the first big thing that we have to mention first is the fact that the Cardano Vasil hard fork was hit with another delay just announced uh, late yesterday, early this morning. And really, you know, the team is bummed that they have to do this, but the IOG technical manager, Kevin Hammond, who's kind of uh, managing the rollout of the Vasil hard fork, obviously, along with uh, Charles and the rest of his team, he is basically saying they're solving some testnet issues. Um, and the goal really is to flush out any final issues as they go into the hard fork. So what they're doing right now is fixing on testing authority and, and getting it right, making sure that they're not rushing. Their biggest concern right now uh, is exchanges and API developers, uh, if you see right here. Um, so they wanna make sure that there really is no bumps in the road because obviously, a bad Vasil hard fork launch could really mean some bad price action for Cardano and uh, slipping confidence as well. So basically, you know, they're bummed that they had to delay a few more weeks. There isn't really now a set timeline. They're more just saying a few weeks from this last day of July. This was supposed to go live this week. Um, and so now we're expecting, you know, a few weeks to a month delay past this. So it's very, very important you understand this because this will come into play in terms of price action for Cardano as well. Now, the next big thing I, I wanna cover is some very, very interesting movement within institutional buying, not only in crypto, but specifically Cardano as well. So if we look at, this just came out beginning of this week, this is the latest update of institutional fund flows into crypto. What I wanna point out here first uh, is that Bitcoin actually hit now a record year to date investment uh, since I've been following this fund flow uh, tracking sheet. So this was previously, you know, 30 to 50 million. Just this past month, we've seen 220 million in um, institutional funding come into Bitcoin. Now, we've also seen additional come into Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, but I really do want to highlight Cardano specifically. So just so you uh, understand and get how important this is, previously, Cardano only had, you know, about a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand um, dollars in month-to-date investment, um, and less than ten million uh, year-to-date investment in uh, Cardano from institutions. So now we're looking at 1.4 million coming in alone this week, which basically matches everything that they've done up into the month. So clearly there is something that institutions are seeing, whereas they were not buying at all in the months previously uh, in, in terms of doubling down on Cardano. Now all of a sudden they see opportunity from where Cardano's price is sitting and maybe leading up to the hard fork, they see some confidence here uh, moving from basically a net zero investment in Cardano to 1.5 uh, million month to date in investment and 1.4 million just this week. So really, really exciting. I, you know, it's, it's cool to see that inst institutions are starting to see maybe somewhat of a uh, value opportunity here in Cardano at its current price point, um, but definitely some bullish news there. And then also obviously seeing that come into all of crypto has been fantastic too. Now, the last thing I want to um, really drive home here is how critical of a point Cardano is in, in terms of the chart. So here, just to kind of set the uh, wider expectation just on timeline. Um, I have the different phase upgrades for Cardano here marked on the chart. So you're going to see Shelly. Right before Shelly, you know, we saw this low, um, you know, way down here, about two cents, going all the way up to around 15 cents, you know, more than a 600% increase. And then obviously after staking takes effect, we see this kind of massive run up. And then during GoGwen, we actually saw, you know, somewhat of a uh, pullback as we were going through it. But then right after, right around when GoGwen was completed, we saw this next really big jump from, you know, a dollar or so all the way up to that three plus dollar high. Uh, now, Vazel is part of uh, leading up to the next phase of Basho, right? So Basho is the next official phase on the roadmap but vasil is more so expected to occur obviously right around here and that's to make sure that cardano is set up properly for basho so it's going to be really really interesting we do know that these phases lead to some sort of price action for cardano but it hasn't necessarily been consistent we've seen 
pumps and dumps right around uh, these phases, you know, going into them and coming out of them. Uh, we've seen both sides of the coin. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens, you know, here with Cardano, um, you know, whether we see some consolidation, maybe a little bit of upwards price movement, and then maybe we pump into Basho. Or, you know, maybe we kind of consolidate through Basho and then pump after, or maybe we dump after. But we're going to look into a couple options here once we get uh, the FIB levels up on the chart. But one of the things I want to cover before we look at some of those key price levels and predictions, I want to make you guys aware of this trend line uh, that's recently just been broken. So we had this kind of downward uh, trend, uh, which, you know, I've marked here, you know, with this uh, line. Um, and we've seen this basically go on from the all time high all the way uh, to just a few days ago, um, you know, last week ish. So we've seen, you know, 320, 300 plus days in this um, kind of downward trend. And just recently, uh, you know, we had this really, really green candle day uh, right here on the 18th, 19th two big daily green candles, and all of a sudden we broke out of uh, that trend line. Now you're also going to notice that since then, we actually haven't fallen below it. If anything, we've actually tried to retest it here at the 45 cent mark, and we actually successfully somewhat retested that going back up to uh, the upside. So it wasn't a full retest, but we did check uh, down below. A full retest probably would have looked like more 43 cents, but obviously not everything is exact in chart trading and chart analysis. But I do want to mention that because a lot of the times when we have a large, large downtrend that shows a reversal, especially after, you know, a 300 day downtrend, which is just, you know, insane to see that actually break convincingly, um, you know, that is definitely could be some news that we could be swinging uh, back to the upside. So definitely something to keep your eyes on there. Now, the other thing I wanted to note here as we bring out uh, the FIB retracement real quick. The other thing I wanted to note is we are coming up on and now this is more of a key indicator for Bitcoin since Bitcoin has been around more, um, been around longer and Cardano, you know, just has barely had been able to print that 200 week um, indicator. But the 200 week uh, indicator here in blue what we're seeing is that this is right around 55, 56 cents, and we're trying to break above that as we speak. So we're at about 54 cents, high 54 cents at the time of the taping. Um, and right now we're trying to break above that 55 cent mark. Um, so if we do stand on top of that, we could see a push, you know, up to this resistance of 66 cents. So this is going to kind of be the next big push we're going to want to see a stand on top of 55 56 and then i think we're um you know fair game for uh some range bound uh, channel action here between the 200 week and that 66 cent marker before maybe uh bouncing back to the upside uh, now obviously anything is possible I'm not saying that that's a guarantee or that we will bounce back to the upside but right now we're going to probably experience resistance at this 200 week if you go back uh, and look at what we've done before right resistance here 200 week resistance here 200 week resistance here 200 week resistance here 200 week you know and actually resistance here as well to say that you know we're not going to experience resistance at the 200 week when we've been experiencing it every single time we've tried to test it uh, would just be uh, you know a fool's errand we, we definitely need to address that so i would say you know don't get too excited right we, we've had an extremely positive week for cardano and it's been great but at the same time we have some strong resistance levels uh coming up right here just at a couple more cents around 55 56 cents so definitely pay attention to that in terms of more of the long-term uh, outlook, you know, I, I think that we need to be focused on mainly breaking the one dollar and three cent, one dollar four cent mark. Uh, that's going to be up here. That's the next really, really key fib level. So I wouldn't expect any sort of, you know, solid, solid turnaround to the upside from Cardano until we break uh, that one dollar mark. And so if we were to say, okay, we're, we break this two hundred week, uh, and then from there, you know, maybe we become range bound uh, between the 200 week and the uh, 66 cent mark, which would be our next resistance. You know, maybe we do some of this, maybe we consolidate up here again, and then going into Basho, maybe we get some positive price action. But obviously everything is going to depend on the Fed right now, on the fact that we're in a recession, um, you know, officially, uh, it's been announced. So now by definition, we're in a recession. 
definitely something we need to focus on. But I, I think that, you know, in terms of where Cardano is sitting, we're at a critical spot. A lot's going to depend on macro. A lot's going to depend on how this Vasil hard fork goes. Um, but just wanted to give you guys as much information as possible. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.